In this video, we will look at how the data interpreter can help us quickly clean our Excel and PDF files and get them ready for analysis in Tableau Desktop. What if you have an Excel file like this? This Excel file, very typical of a lot of Excel files, will have some formatted titles. You have merged columns here, you have empty rows, some empty columns, and maybe a footer. We want to be able to use this in Tableau and start analyzing and visualizing our data. Let's jump into Tableau Desktop and connect to this data source. We can see in this preview that Tableau has retained a lot of our empty rows and a lot of our empty columns. This is not good because this will prevent us from analyzing this data properly and effectively. So what we can do is we can check off this used data interpreter. This is a tool that's baked right into Tableau Desktop. What also happens is once you have checked off this data interpreter, it will have gone through some of the common display components that need to be removed or corrected from your Excel file. Once you also check this data interpreter, you can review the results. And in these results, it actually shows you the components that have been changed and the components that have been retained as data points. So that was a simple way to take off any headers, any footers, any merged columns. And then from now, we can actually just start working with our data. So for a data set like this, you can see a lot of our measures are subdivided by dates. So you have the same measures that are split across different dates as columns. So typically, we're going to want to pivot this or convert these columns into rows. So you highlight all of them, right click, pivot, and now you can have a cleaner, taller data that Tableau can analyze more effectively. A second use case might be when we want to connect to a PDF file and extract some tables from that PDF file. So for this demo, I'm actually using the World Happiness Report for 2020. This is a long report, so I've just chosen to use maybe a couple pages for this demo. So in here, in page 151 and 152, this PDF report actually has a tabular data that we could potentially analyze in Tableau. So how do we connect to this PDF file? So I've gone ahead and downloaded this PDF file. So let's connect to that in Tableau. And when we connect to a PDF file, we can select to connect to the whole PDF file, maybe just a single report. And in our case, it's just going to be a range of pages, which is page 151 and 152. So what we see in here, page 151 and page 152, they're treated as tables as far as Tableau is concerned. If you wanted to see what has been extracted out, we can view the data. So when you click on this icon right beside that page number, when you click on that icon, this is your view data icon, you can see what has been extracted out. So even from this preview, we can see that there are some things that shouldn't have been imported. We probably don't want to use these as, as data points. These are probably just headings. So what we can do, we can simply drag this over to our connection pane, and we are going to use the data interpreter again. Data interpreter will clean this up. Note something interesting in here though, we only connected to page 151 and page 152. But now after we check off the data interpreter checkbox, we get two more tables. And these are actually the sub tables that the Tableau data interpreter has detected. So let's go back to that PDF file. In that PDF file, we can see that in page 152, there's actually two sub tables. So this is one sub table and this is another sub table. So even without us asking, it actually has detected different data sets that you may potentially want to analyze differently or separately from the whole page. I think that's pretty awesome. So if you simply wanted to work with the first sub table, we can simply drag it to your canvas, but be careful here. 
If you drag it slightly to the right, it will actually create a relationship. If you want to stack these tables on top of each other, what you need to do is make sure that you drag it right underneath, and that's what you call a union. And when you have a union, you get some additional metadata columns. So one metadata column that you have uh, you have in here is now a table name. So it's just a, a good way for us to keep track of where the fields or where the records are coming from. The third use case is very similar to the second use case. What if we simply wanted to get a sub table, a subsection from your data source? In this example, we have an Excel file and this Excel file actually has three sub tables with it. What if we really simply wanted to work with this subtable. We don't want to import the whole tab or the whole worksheet. How do we do this in, in Tableau Interpreter? When we jump back into Tableau, let's connect to Microsoft Excel. And in here, we're going to connect to that Excel file. And once we click the data interpreter, notice what happens with the sheets that are listed out. Right now, there's only three. And magic will happen the moment we click this checkbox saying use data interpreter. Voila, there you go. So these are all of the detected subtables. So again, you don't have to go back to your Excel file, copy and paste, cut and paste, or create new tabs just for a subset of that, that data. Tableau will help extract the information you need so that you can analyze your data faster. And that's it for these tips. Hopefully you found something that is useful. Hopefully you learned something a little bit more that you can add to your Tableau arsenal.